Hey guys, Joe here. Thanks for checking out another video on the channel. This is my blacksmith pistol safe that I got from Banggood. I've made a video or two on it. You've seen it in the background of a few videos. Uh, link in the description for that. But I wanted to talk about something else that these guys had sent me, and that is these guys. Now, excuse anything you see in the background. I'm in the process of moving. But this is one of their standing gun safes. It's actually a locker, but we'll call it a safe for the product review. Uh, before we get into that, they did not pay me for this review. They did not influence this in any way. They did not tell me what to say. They simply sent me the products. All your opinions that you're hearing, all my opinions that you're hearing are mine. They had no control over it in any way. They've never asked for control, so much props to Banggood for that. But this is the Blacksmith Standing Gun Safe. For the money, it has a lot of cool features. Number one, as you can see, it has a digital keypad. It also has biometrics, which do work well, um, as I will demonstrate real quick with the pistol safe. If I use the wrong finger, it doesn't open. Back in the day, if you had a wet piece of noodle with ridges on it, you could open the old biometric stuff. Now, if you don't, oh look, Jennings, if you don't have the right stuff, it doesn't open. These guys are much the same way. This one has been flawless except my uh, quest 2 needed battery so i might have stolen them out of it i'll put more in anyways has key lock keypad thumbprint and battery backup so even if i were to say take my batteries out i could plug in oh i don't know a battery pack and then just run it and open it so very smart thinking i've seen some bad companies that don't do smart stuff so good on blacksmith for that with the key you can open her up and look inside and see that it's actually very nicely finished too. Unlike this one. This is a cheaper one that I bought from a buddy of mine. It was, again, about a couple of hundred bucks. However, when you look inside, it does have finishing inside, but the door plain and it has the old school locker style, where it's just one thing that comes down. And it is deeper and bigger, but bang good makes bigger safes too so but this one is your typical gun locker where these guys go above and beyond is they actually provide the big locking lugs that you would see in a regular safe has the big mechanism inside so it's much harder to break into so you'd have to go through all those bars just to get into this thing yeah i like that it's a heavy gauge steel so it is not going to just be like hit it with a knife and cut through it. It is very sturdy. The, fr the Frankel finish, the crinkle finish that's on here is pretty well done. I like it. Um, it's Picasso, but no, it handled the transport very well. They double box it and they have metal for the corners. So the thing was packaged extremely well. In fact, it took me two trips to the garbage to get rid of the boxes. Now, one thing you're probably standing here and going, why does he have two of the exact same gun safes? Well, number one, I'm going to use safe and locker interchangeably. It's just the way my brain works. But the reason I have two of them is they aren't exactly the same product. This is the one that came out a few months ago. And since then, they've been iterating and adding extra features and extra stuff. And they said, hey, this is the improved model. Please check it out. And I was like, sweet, send it on. I'll definitely take a look at it. And what they've done is minor, but it's very important. They've made the biometrics work even better, which means it works just as good as the pistol safe, which is awesome because like I said, I've never had a false open on it. I've never had a false release and it works perfect. Great. Another thing they did was they added this little guy. You put four AA batteries in here and you have a portable battery pack just in case you run out of power. That's pretty neat. And that's good because it does come with keys. And if you lose the keys, you're screwed unless you have your code. Battery pack is, or excuse me, the batteries go in here. And then once you've done that, there's a button inside of there that you push, set your code, push it again. And it sets it as well as the biometrics. You push it, hold it for three seconds, set your biometrics, release it, and you're done. And also I wanted to show you that when this thing is fully locked, both sides of the door have the big steel bars. So... Yeah, mofos ain't getting in there. Inside of it, very nicely finished with a felt kind of insert. Three guns can go into the doors. I've got two of them here. Uh, don't know where I, where I put that. Oh, yeah, I'm working on the Glock that was in there. But, yeah, so you've got room. You can see these pouches are strong enough to hold a full-size 1911 P10F. Plenty of room inside for rifles. I am going to say that is a negative that I want to point out for both of these guys. One thing they need to improve, they need to put 
uh, standing slots. You can see on the bottom of this one, you got one, two, three, four, five slots. However, those are just styrofoam. They're just kind of suggestions. But if you have another shelf up here with two big slots in it, you could put 10 guns in this pretty damn easily because it is deep, almost elbow deep. The shelf is a nice addition because then I can put stuff like this crazy little pistol that I haven't done the review on because I'm looking for a magazine, extra magazines, barrels, all that stuff. And of course, one thing I really like is a secondary lockable box up here. What if you want to put some documents? What if you want to put some money? What if you want to put this? Pardon me. What if you want to put that? Now, this is not fire rated. So you do have to keep that in mind. If you're going to be storing sensitive documents, birth certificates, certificates of ownership, your class three paperwork, your tax stamps, etc., I would put those in your fire rated gun safes your Winchesters, your Not Liberties, because they give out codes because they're a bunch of twats. But yeah, I would definitely have no problem using these for standard use and locking up things like my ammunition, or if you have small people coming around, your medicines. You can put all kinds of stuff in there. You've heard me rambling on this long. Let's talk about the actual best use case for these gun lockers slash safes. Because of their size, as well as their lighter weight. These would be perfect in an apartment situation, in a uh, closet in your front, say, hallway of your house, uh, garage at the shop, wherever you might be, because these are securable to a wall. They do give you some hardware for attaching them, although I would probably bypass this hardware completely and run with some like carriage bolts. But yes, they do provide spots in there. Uh, where you can actually go through and secure this thing either to the floor or to a, some studs in the wall, which is what I'll be doing in my new place because I'll be putting these into the studs and locking them to the wall. That way, on top of having a hard ass time getting through these steel bars, they won't be able to just yank the thing off the wall. So that's perfect. The other use case like for me is I've been daily carrying that. I'm waiting on parts for that. Uh, those are parts and stuff I plan on filming. So this is my prep locker. Guns that are in here are guns I plan to shoot, plan to work on, plan to do things with, or disassemble, because that sight's coming off of that guy, and do things with. So, that is the best use case for these things. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Uh, you can check out their site. I'll leave a link and a discount code down below. Good people, as far as uh, working with, they've always answered all my questions. I've been talking with them for months and they keep sending me products to review. So you guys are obviously doing something right. So use those codes, thumb up, subscribe, all that stuff. Come back for more. Let me know if you guys have any of these, if you've had any biometric issues, because this one was fine. And the fact that they improved it, even though this one is fine, makes me very happy. It shows that they aren't just on a cash grab. So this is Joe. This has been the Jiminy Show. These are the Blacksmith Lockers. And as always, I'll talk to you later. Yay!